Good morning. First full day in Cappadocia today, and you should check out this view. My room's just right there, and I'll give you a room tour after they make up the room sometime today, but let's go get breakfast first. Morning. Hi. Did you get any okay. sleep? You woke up at three and seven? I think so. I didn't go to sleep until two. Oh my gosh. And then uh, woke up at five. Okay, so you really need coffee. Feeling all right right now, but we'll see in a couple we'll of hours. See. After <laughs> we'll breakfast. see how we survive. After breakfast. So what do you think of breakfast? It was okay. Pretty basic. It was like, it's free though, right? It was free. We like free. We definitely do like free. <laughs> Some Turkish coffee right now. Pretty jet lagged. I only had three hours of sleep. I got way more than you. You got more sleep than I did. We're gonna try and stay active and so that we don't, uh, we don't end up taking a long nap and that's being the, extra that's jet lagged. That's how you fail. Yeah, that's how you- Taking a nap is how you fail and you lose to jet lag. Ceramic. I can show you. This is ceramic museum. Oh, cool. It's Roman is all his Roman is painting. Yeah. Is pottery. You want to go up there and explore? We can. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Wherever. Yeah. yeah. tour guide was very nice and wasn't super pushy about the sales. Auburn ended up buying a few pieces to take home, which they packaged up really nicely and securely in bubble wrap and boxes. After the ceramic shop, we took another cab down to Avenos, which is the major city nearby, and we walked around for a little bit. here at a coffee <laughs> shop uh, just trying to stay awake because it's 4 30 right now we're trying to stay awake until 8 since our balloon ride was canceled today we're trying to stay up until 8 go to sleep early and then wake up early tomorrow for the balloon ride tomorrow we gotta survive so yeah we're just trying to stay awake that jet lag's hitting a few hours later we're back at the hotel and here's a little room tour of my cave hotel room. It's 
So that's the room tour and we're gonna get some dinner now. Hopefully I don't fall asleep at dinner. So have dinner, back in our rooms by seven. Shower, go sleep, then uh, wake up early tomorrow. There's a Texas steak. You want to do a review of the Texas steak? You're from Texas, right? Yeah, but no. <laughs> I don't know that I would go to Cappadocia solely for the food. Definitely not. Balloons, yes. Well, we haven't went on the balloons yet. Tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, I think that's it for today. Good morning. It's 4.44 in the morning, going flying today, but not the typical plane, going in a hot air balloon. We're on our way. Balloons today. It's real early. It's super early. Our scheduled van stopped by our hotel to pick us up to take us to the Voyager Balloon Staging Center. This is where we checked in, and there's also a basic breakfast for guests as well. After waiting around for about 40 minutes, the bad news came that the hot air balloons were canceled for the day due to weather. Well, this is not good. Balloon flights are canceled today. We're gonna have to try again tomorrow, hopefully. That's how it goes with ballooning. Weather dependent, so may or may not get to see the balloons in Cappadocia. What are we gonna do today? We have our tour. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. Yeah, we can go take a nap. Okay, that's a good idea. Our thing's not until 10.30, okay. All right, sounds good, go. let's go. We headed back to the hotel and kind of just made the best of our morning and shot some content around the hotel. So that's the Artemis Cave Suites. We checked out of our hotel because we're switching hotels and got picked up for our day tour. Our tour consisted of driving from sightseeing spot to sightseeing spot and kind of seeing the different environments of Cappadocia. One of our favorite stops was the underground city where I definitely recommend you do it with a tour guide because it would make way more sense if you did it with a tour guide explaining all the different parts of the underground city. After the underground city, we did a couple more stops including Imagination Valley where this rock looks like a camel. For lunch we went to this Turkish restaurant where they had a traditional Cappadocia dish which is meat stew that is cooked in a clay pot and served over white rice. This was the conclusion of our day tour with Ramazan and I'll drop his contact information down in the description if you're looking for an awesome tour guide in Cappadocia. 
We were then dropped off at our new hotel, which is the Ariana Sustainable Luxury Lodge, which is also a small luxury hotels of the world, which partners with Hyatt, which also means I can book it with Hyatt points. Later in the evening, we were notified that hot air balloons were canceled for tomorrow as well. So unfortunately, no hot air balloon rides for us. All right, today's our last day here in Cappadocia and heading up to go grab some breakfast before we head uh, to the airport and fly back to Istanbul. Let's go check out what breakfast is like. Big breakfast. It was 30 euros per person, and all those plates, um, they're complimentary because I booked via Hyatt. Hyatt has a special partnership with small luxury hotels, and uh, it was complimentary, but that was a lot of food. And let's go, uh, let's go pack up my stuff and uh, head to the airport. The drive to the airport is about an hour long. You have to go through two rounds of security, one before you get your ticket and one before you enter the gate area. After getting our tickets and going through security, we went to go check out the Turkish Airlines Lounge. And in the lounge, we had a small discussion about the Ariana Sustainable Luxury Lodge Hotel. The Ariana in the luxury Part of town. That does like the Park Hyatt of Cappadocia. Yes. It's fancy. But it in feels a weird expensive. Way. Yeah, it feels expensive, but it's like it's old people fancy. But I would not stay there. It doesn't matter if I'm like super wealthy. Like I would yeah. not stay in that region. I mean, because you're missing out on good balloon views in yeah. the morning. You're there's not a whole lot of restaurants. I think it's it's a hotel for some people if you want that's style of stay, but if you're looking for a Cappadocia, I guess, true experience, then you should yeah. be staying at a local hotel. After a couple hours in the lounge, we we're ready to board our flight to Istanbul. It's a short flight, only about an hour and 15 minutes. There's a full meal service, even though it's such a short flight. After landing in Istanbul, we met up with our friend Spencer Howard from Straight to the Points. He's the third member to our travel group. Stick around for the next vlog to see what we do in Istanbul.